Chapter 9, Lesson 2, App Icons. App icons are the things that will appear on the home screen of the iPhone. So, it's what you're tapping when you open an iPhone app. App icons are absolutely required by Apple, so that means if you submit without an icon or without an appropriate icon, your app will be denied and it will not go on the App Store. Apple recommends simplicity for icons, and that is definitely a good thing, but you can use your icon as a sort of almost logo for your app or things of that nature. Right now you're only watching part of this series. The full course includes many more lessons including how to monetize and submit apps to the App Store. Click the link in the description now to check out the full unabridged course and to create a fantastic source of passive income. Now let's get back to the lesson. In Xcode, I'm going to create a new single view application. Now that we've created our project, let's go ahead and run the project and see what it looks like without an icon. So we're in our app. So if we go to the home screen, you'll notice our app's icon. Currently, it is just the standard blank icon. However, when we add our icon images in, this will change to a custom icon like the ones in Calendar, Photos, and all of Apple's apps, and every app you've downloaded on the App Store. So let's go add that right now. The first thing we can do is go directly into images.exe assets. You'll notice we have a pre-generated file named app icon. This is because it'll be our app icon. We can go over to our attributes inspector and I'm going to enable iOS 6.1 and prior sizes just because you may want to still support iOS 6 and higher. So if we start from left to right, we obviously have settings and spotlight which is 29 point or 29 by 29 pixels because icons are square. Then of course we have the two times version of that same image. 29 times 2 is 58 so the icon will be 58 by 58. This is for the retina screens. And then of course we have the three times version of that same photo. 29 times 3 is 87 so the, the retina HD version of the settings and spotlight icon is 87 by 87 pixels. We then have our iPhone spotlight and this is for iOS 7 and 8 since the sizes are bigger in iOS 7 and 8. Now this is 40 point but we don't have a one times so the, the retina version will be 80 because 40 times 2 is 80. So then the retina HD version for iPhone spotlight for versions iOS 7 and 8 will be 40 times 3 which is 120 by 120 pixels. And then of course we have our iPhone app icons. These are the ones that we'll be seeing on the home screen of the iPhone. So for iOS 5 and 6 we have 1 and 2 times versions. So that is 57 times 57. So that's for 1 times. And then of course we have our two times version of that same photo, which is 114 by 114, because obviously 57 times two is that. And then we have our iPhone app icons, the ones that'll be on the home screen for iOS 7 and 8. Now these start at 60 by 60 pixels, however we only have Retina and Retina HD versions, which means we only have two times and three times. So we use 60 times two, which is 120. So our two times version for iPhone 7 and 8 is 120 by 120 pixels. And finally, our Retina HD version of this icon, the icon that will be used on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus is 180 by 180 pixels because 60 times 3 is 180. So we can go through the iPhone sizes and run the app. If we go to iPhone 4S and run it, You'll notice, you'll notice that our icon demo does have its icon in it. Let's check it out on the iPhone 5 version. So you'll notice when we go to the home screen that icon demo does have the icon I've specified. When we run on the iPhone 6 and go to the home screen, you'll notice that icon demo does have the icon I've specified. And finally, when we run on the largest size iPhone, you'll notice when we go to the home screen that, of course, it has the correct icon. This is the version we tested on in the very beginning of this lesson, and you'll notice now, instead of the blank icon, it does have the custom icon. As always, the app icon is in the documentation, and it is documented pretty well. In the iOS developer library, this is under the subsection, the iOS human interface guidelines. If you want to know about app icons in incredible detail and what Apple recommends, I suggest you look up app icons in the iOS developer library. Not only can you find what Apple recommends, but you can also find every single 
size of the icons that you need. Remember this course releases new lessons every Wednesday and Thursday of every week. Subscribe now to not miss them.